What's going on, everybody? Usually, I upload videos and be playing, or I upload something talking about music. But today, I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, within the recent month, um, I lost my best friend. Um, we were friends for 17 years. Um, it was the hardest thing that. I'm not going to say how hard I've dealt with because I'm currently going through this. So this is the hardest thing for me to be dealing with since the death of my mother 17 years ago. I actually met my friend. His name is Arthur or was Arthur. I actually met him uh, not too long after my mother passed away. Um, this has been very devastating and detrimental. Um, it's really turned my world upside down because I'm so, you know, used to talking to this guy, you know, like every day, you know, after work, before work, uh, weekends, um, we've played together, you know, in church, um, we, we shared the software, sound, sound bank, so we, we, we shared everything. He was truly like a, a brother. And I know he told me I was a brother that he never had because he only had a sister, but he didn't have any brothers. And this has really been a trying situation. I do find some type of peace knowing that he knew Jesus, so I know he's with God right now. However, I've been able to talk to him and share stupid videos with him and laugh at stupid stuff. Adjustment. When I first found out he passed away, you know, from that first week, I was still, you know, calling him and sending him different videos because I was so used to doing that, I couldn't stop. I knew he was gone, but I just couldn't stop uh, my usual routine. It took me like a week and a half to get in my mind, you know, he's not here anymore and he can no longer laugh at these videos with me. So even though I'm not sending him videos anymore, you know, anytime I see something funny or stupid, you know, on, on here on YouTube, it really blows my mind and it brings me back because it's so hard. I mean, this guy, he was an awesome friend. I mean, just pure hearted. He didn't talk about people. He didn't gossip. He, he wanted into none of that crazy stuff. He wanted to see the best for people. He loved people. He loved his children. You know, he, he, he was very given. The last time I seen him alive, my wife and I, last time we seen him alive, he was actually, he was, he was actually, he was actually giving me something. That was the last time that we saw him alive. That was the type of person that he was. If I would call on him, he would come running. If I was moving, he would always help. When my wife and I moved into our house, this joker took off work to come help us. Now, who? Come on now. People don't usually do that. He literally took off work. Of course, I couldn't pay him, you know, or, or make up for the wages he missed on that particular day or those days. But he he still came. That's the type of friend he was. And I know, I, well, I can't even say I know I'll never have a friend like him again because God can always send somebody. But I would say that this point in my life right now, there's a piece of me that's missing because he was such a big part of my life. I mean, it, it hurts so much to not be able to call him and talk to him and just be stupid and, you know, laugh and joke, you know. It's very, very hard knowing that I never talked to him again. I'll never see him again. I, I see him in heaven, I'm sure. 
But until then, it's going to be a while. I'm hoping that I won't reach the gates no time soon. I want to enjoy life. But <clears throat> with me saying this, I also want to encourage anybody else, anyone, anybody else who is currently dealing with what I'm dealing with right now. Um, I want to say to anybody that is dealing with this, I want to say, hey, first of all, God loves you and God is a healer and he will mend your broken heart. He will. I mean, it is only by the grace of God and the help of the Holy Spirit uh, that I'm actually being able to navigate through this because like I said, this is a, a major life adjustment. I mean, major. But by the grace of God, my wife, my wife and I, we're, we're making it through. Now, my wife didn't know him as long as I did, but he was just a big part of her life as he was mine. So, you know, being that being said also, the difficulty of the situation is, and maybe I should have mentioned this earlier, but the difficulties I'm having is, I am also trying to be strong and be strong for my wife, and I'm and I, I'm careful not to put too much on her, consider, uh, uh, concerning my personal grief. I don't want to weigh her down. I want her to go through her own process together, but I, I'm careful not to dump anything on her. I'm still trying to be strong and also make sure that I'm not packing away the pain. I don't want to confuse being strong with packing the pain away. It's just so easy to do that. I want to encourage um, everyone else back to the encouragement segment. I want to encourage everybody to understand that, yes, navigate through what you're going through right now, but make sure that you are dealing with your hurt and your pain and not packing it away. Because the reality is, if you're just packing your pain away, there will be triggers. Movies, conversations, you might go out and see two friends together, having a, 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 a having lunch together or whatnot. Those kind of things would be triggers. And if you haven't dealt with the pain of your loss, you're going to be devastated all over again. So that's what I'm trying to make sure that I don't do to myself. And it's hard. But once again, God is a healer. You have to hide yourself in him and his word. That's the only way. So I'm not going to talk your heads off. I'm going to get off of here, but I want to encourage you. I'm sorry for your loss. Whoever's watching this video, I'm very sorry for your loss. I'm also praying for you as well as myself. You pray for me. Let's pray for each other. We can make it together. So um, you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, whatever part of the world you're looking at. Thank you so much for watching. Oh,